This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research looking at world-class benchmarking for the company International Container Terminal Services in the Philippines. Let's take a look at the background of what this company is doing. International Container Terminal S Services is an international operator of common user container terminals and serves the global container shipping industry. ICT is primarily engaged in operations, management, development, and acquisition of container terminals, with total annual throughput ranging from 50,000 to 2.5 million tons equivalent units uh, annually. Let's take a look at the share price, which is the yellow line, and the price is on the left axis. The blue line is the relative performance, which the company has been outperforming over the last let's say a year or so. The ticker code is ICT and the market cap of the company is about 4.3 billion US dollars with about a five million dollar average daily turnover. The beta over the period that we're taking it from is actually negative. A very rare situation uh, <clears throat> and sometimes a case of something that you want to buy. Free float 66 percent so relatively large Let's see what's going on at the company. ICT operates via three geographical segments. It is involved in 28 terminal concessions where it handles break bulk cargoes and provides ancillary services such as storage, container packaging and unpackaging, and inspection, weighing, and services for refrigerated containers. It also has port development projects in 18 countries. Its main contributor is the Asia region, comprising 52% of total revenues. It operates through port terminals in Asian countries that include the Philippines, China, Indonesia, and docks in Australia, Japan, Brunei, and Pakistan. The Americas region contributes 34% of ICT's total revenues, and it has port operations in Brazil, Ecuador, Colombia, Argentina, Mexico, and Honduras. Meanwhile, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa contribute about 14% of total revenue. ICT operates in Poland, Georgia, Croatia, the Netherlands, Madagascar, Nigeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Iraq. Effective operating cost reduction initiatives in 2016 could be further enhanced following termination of operations in Portland, Oregon, U.S. port. So if we look at the revenue breakdown by geography, we see that Asia is 52%, America's is 34 and Europe and the Middle East is about 14%. So now that we understand more about this company, let's look at its world-class benchmarking scorecard. Now, first of all, we want to understand who is the chairman and in charge of the company. And in this case, the chairman and CEO is Enrico Rezon Jr and he's been running it since 1987. So therefore, we can attribute all the performance there. And what we can see is profitable growth has dropped to the average rank from a three. So it went three, then down to four, then down to five, and it's maintained the five average rank since then. We benchmarked this company against 1,420 large industrial companies worldwide. Where does this average performance come from? Well, Profitability is at average growth, as at average, and growth has improved to above average from a six. So right now, growth is at about a four. Now, asset utilization is ranked worse. Profit margin has been world class since 2013. Of course, it's a heavy asset investment business, but the profit margins generally make up for that. The weakness is sales growth is really ranked at a number three, not so bad, and margin change has improved to a four from an eight. And in fact, it was quite weak on margin change uh, in the past. Now, of course, what we can see is that margin is already very high for this company. So really, what it comes down to is getting more out of the existing assets that they have in place. Or what about selling underperforming assets, such as its recent sale of the Oregon or the Portland uh, port? that we talked about earlier. So generally an average performance, but maybe has a chance to move up from here. You want to see more? Well, just go and sign up for our, new, for our free newsletter and get access to more investment knowledge at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join. I'll see you there.